Hello. I am so excited. So I got rid of all of that yarn the other day and donated it. You know, and it made me feel a little bit bleh. There were only a few skeins of really expensive yarn. And so I felt better about that. Because, you know, part of the whole thing is we feel bad about the money we've spent on stuff. But here's the deal. In that amount of time, you guys love my Mitzi. I love her. Even though she's a diaper dog. I'm the only one that can let her in and out. So she wears a diaper. I take it off. She goes in and out. But if I'm not around and there's an accident, I don't have to worry about it. And it just makes life happier. You know, there's no arguments. Mitzi, you did this or something. You know, I don't have to hear it anymore. And since I got rid of everything, I've got my two bookshelves. I donated the other small bookshelf thing. I wound, I figured out what I was doing wrong on the winder. Um, and I wound 12 skeins of yarn in less than an hour. Um, And I'm about to start them on a little project on my board that I'm going to do slowly for me and see if I can tolerate it because I'm a little wonky still in my shoulder. But look, in just these couple of days, I have a set of fingerless gloves that's almost done. I will finish them today. Because I could see the yarn. I could see all of a sudden that these two skeins of yarn went together out of what I kept. And I'm so excited about that. Um, and I need that. And I need that right now in this moment because I was crying on the way home from the grocery store because although um, I did a thing last year and some people were getting together and they've gotten together a lot near here. Yes, it's a lot for me to, to coordinate, but nobody even asks asks if I want to participate. It makes me sad. Is it because I'm in my 50s and still have grade school age children? Perhaps. Is it because they feel like if they ask, then they have to drive me? Well, they should know that's not the case, but perhaps. And just hurts my stinking feelings. I'm in the same state. It's people from the same get-together. Oh, just, it just upsets me. I want more people in my life. Talking with my husband about that this morning. And he's talking about how he never puts effort or energy into that. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I've been saying this for like three years now. This is a major problem that feeds into our marital discord. So maybe we should think about changing it. Life is full of all of these Con con contradictions, but I've been out in my room a little bit more. It's very functional. Um, I did a little bit throughout the house in minimizing some stuff there. I'm going to go a little bit harder core at that here in the next couple months. Did just find out after talking to my doc daughter's doctor, she might have mono. I didn't, I didn't really think that much about it. Um, you know, third grade is not when you think of kids getting mono. But... We're apparently beyond the general 
believes what my doctor believes is the general. She can be uh, transmitting it stage. She was probably sick weeks before I realized it because she'd been, I have a bad stomach, don't feel good, on and off, and a little bit more tired, which you then attribute to the bad stomach. Then now to have these two weeks of really down and exhaustion. So I've also talked to her teacher. She's going to take a slow um, getting back to the school. If they have to send her home midday, they will. They're fine with having her back. Um, she's like, yep, she probably won't be the only one. Which leads me to believe that maybe the teacher's already been contacted um, by other kids. So tomorrow is the first day back. I'm excited. I'm very excited. But I'm the most excited about making and finishing a lovely project that is like if I could make my sweaters turn out as well as I can make my fingerless gloves turn out I'd wear them these are gorgeous I love it they have great finishing detail this one wasn't working out quite right so I'm pulling that back I'll redo that I realized what I didn't exactly like so I'm gonna redo that um, but I'm thrilled about the skein winder. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love this. I absolutely love it. So that's nice. Maybe, maybe I'll make another dozen sets because we're going to end up getting another cold snap here. Like there's a day in the next few. They say the high for the day is 38 degrees. I live in southern Arizona, people. Like I deal with illegal immigrants running through my property and getting picked up by people. And we've got um, Border Patrol people always making stops between us and school, like, all the time. Like, I, I'm in it. I live it. Um, personally, I don't know what I think about it because sometimes I think, well, just open the borders. Why do we have such heavy restraints on our borders? Because I don't think that we would be inundated with people if we had, I don't know, I think you're always going to have some measure of illegal immigration anywhere. We're not the only country that deals with it. Um, but if there are people who want to come here, and they are poor, but they'll do the jobs that nobody else wants to do here. Why wouldn't we let them come here? If they're not bringing drugs and criminality and stuff, they're just families. Why, why wouldn't we? Why do we care? Because they happen to be born 300 miles south of me instead of 60 miles south of me? I mean, I don't know. I am, you know, I don't know. So, I'm enjoying my half frozen Key Lime Pie. Coffee. My cold room. And my knitting. you do too today and have a good start to your new year look with your heart first not your eyes